D-Day and our heroic troops in Normandy. This was the scene Omaha Beach 70 years ago today. And tonight, just look at the same beach, the American flag there. Here at home, one million rose petals released over the Statue of Liberty today. And in Washington, D.C., veterans remembering at the World War II Memorial. Tonight, so many of you sending us your family's memories, stories from grandfathers and loved ones, and we'll have it in your voice later in the broadcast. But first, ABC's chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl, is there tonight traveling with the president. From President Obama today, a soaring tribute to the heroes who turned the tide of history 70 years ago. These men waged war so that we might know peace. They sacrificed so that we might be free. They fought in hopes of a day when we no longer need to fight. All told, more than 150,000 Allied troops took part in the D-Day invasion, one of the hardest fought and most important battles of all time. Whenever the world makes you cynical, whenever you doubt that courage and goodness is possible, stop and think of these men. Men like Cosmo Utero, just 20 when he landed on Omaha Beach, now returning with his daughter and granddaughter for an emotional first time. General Brad Bradley said every man who was here landed on that beach that yeah. day as a hero. Yeah. That includes you. I'm just thankful to be here, but I never look at it, you know, hero type thing. You, you do what you have to do. There are only a handful of photographs from Omaha Beach on that day and vivid memories from men like Cosmo. The bullets are bad, but it's the artillery bombing because you you always feel and see if you still got your legs, you got your arms, because you, I know you wouldn't feel it if they blew up. I've been blessed, lucky. The sacrifice is almost unimaginable. More Americans died in 24 hours on D-Day than have been killed in 10 years of war in Afghanistan. Don Jakeway, now 92, parachuted in. Nearly two-thirds of the men in his squad were killed. In my squad alone, and they're, they're buried here, uh, Deloach, Tanner, Blair, Vashon, Medford, how they miss me, I don't know. Most of these men will never see Normandy again, which is why Cosmo Otero decided to take a little piece of it back home. So I just reached down, got a handful of sand and to take home with me wow. as a memory. There was a lot of speculation today about whether President Obama would meet with Vladimir Putin, who is also here for the D-Day commemoration. Despite all the tension surrounding Russia's actions in Ukraine, the two men did meet and had a short, seemingly cordial conversation. On this day, it's worth remembering that when it came to the battle against Hitler, the Russians and the Americans were on the same side.